Okay, guys, really interesting information here. Seems that we've got a second runway that is now being changed due to a shift in the magnetic north, not matching up with the runways. It seems that this is now affecting the Jacksonville International Airport, and they have just finished a three-day project uh, in changing the numbers at each end of these runways at a cost of 20 grand. And it's basically going on to say that uh, there is a slow but constant shift in the planet's magnetic field, said Joe Mert, a geologist at the University of Florida, and it means it's a job that must be done every few years. Now, just pay attention to where they say it's a job that must be done every few years because they go on to contradict themselves. So Mert is an expert on the Earth's magnetic field, and he said the location of the magnetic north is constantly shifting and is currently westward. And this is because the planet's outer liquid core is always moving around its inner solid core. So magnetic north is in a different place than true north, which is a geographic reference also known as the North Pole. So as magnetic north shifts, it's about one degree every decade. So if it's only moving one degree every decade, then why are they changing it every few years? Yeah. Airports must occasionally renumber their runways when the direction varies five or more degrees. Well, if it's only moving one degree every decade, then wouldn't that be 50 years before it's moved five degrees, not every few years? I mean, I don't know. Am I missing something here? Yes, you are missing something here. The subject of this particular sentence is that the FAA requires that runway numbers match their magnetic compass headings. This initial comment by Mirt in saying that it's a job that must be done every few years is in reference to all airports across the globe, not any one given airport. There's no contradiction with the other statement that magnetic north shifts about one degree every decade or so. But don't take my word for it. Here's an email I received from him explaining just that. The lady on YouTube takes every few years to be a literal accounting of the magnetic shifts taking place on Earth. In fact, what I said was that on a global sample, some runways will be changed every few years. So further complicating the issue of airports is that some parts of the Earth experience less magnetic shift than others, requiring some airfields to change their numbers sooner than others, and still others not at all, DeLugo said. It's partly why JIA is changing its number now and Tampa International changed its runway numbers in January. Now, isn't that interesting that it mentions Tampa International Airport? You know, I mean, if this is just a really blase article, you know, amusing little article about some funny little numbers at the end of runways that change a little bit every few years because, uh, you know, the magnetic north just normally does that all the time, then why are they mentioning Tampa Airport? They are mentioning Tampa Airport because it highlights the point made in the previous paragraph about the fact that some parts of the Earth experience less magnetic shift than others, as stated in the email from Joe Meert. The variations in declination vary widely across the globe, as does the rate of change. For example, in Alaska, the shift is one-third of a degree per year, whereas in Florida, the rate is lower. This has to do with the position of the locality relative to Magnetic North. And, you know, I haven't been able to search out any other articles on any other airports that have changed their Magnetic North Compass readings on their runways. So uh, if anyone else can find me some information on other airports in the last five to ten years that have had to do this, then please PM me or comment down below because I have yet to find anything. Sure, I'd be happy to help. There's a variety of information about other airports changing their runway numbers. Here's an article about an airport in Oregon, Hillsboro Airport. The slowly drifting location of Earth's magnetic pole means the Hillsboro Airport's main runway underwent a name change earlier this week. And of course, I'll put all of these links in the description as I always do. Here's yet another article about a runway change in uh, at Manchester. Slight changes to the magnetic field of Earth mean that the runways at Manchester Airport have to be renamed. And here's one more. Uh, they keenly hide this under runway on Wikipedia um, where they mention the London 
Stansted Airport in the UK changed its runway designations. I mean, there's plenty of other information out there. All you have to do is the research. So uh, that's that Jacksonville International Airport uh, story. And then we go back here to the uh, story about the Tampa Airport. Now, this one made live science. Wow, really interesting for something that happens all the time, every few years, you know, to make livescience.com. So um, they're saying the Earth's magnetic field shifts forcing airport runway to change. The magnetic North Pole is currently hovering over the North Sea and moving towards Siberia. This means two Florida airports are renumbering their runways. Odd as this connection may be on the surface, the adjustments underway at Tampa International Airport and beginning next week at Peter O'Knight Airport. Now, I wasn't aware of that, so that is three airports now. Actually, it's more than three airports now. If you refer back to the first article, you can see that they also mentioned changes at the Jacksonville Naval Air Station and the Gainesville Airport. So it's really five airports now if you pay attention to detail. Jacksonville, Tampa, Peter O'Knight, Jacksonville Naval Air Station, and Gainesville. Are the result of a natural ongoing process. It's all right, guys. It's all natural. You know, every couple of years, so uh, the Earth had, has an iron core. Okay, they're going to try and uh, tell us why it's happening. In fact, it drifts about one-fifth of a degree a year at lower altitudes such as Florida. So it means if you wait five years, the compass will be off by one degree. So that is actually not matching up with what we've just uh, seen in the other story, even though they're saying that it does change in some areas. I couldn't imagine the change being that severe. Actually, the first article refers to the change of about one degree every year at the location of Magnetic North. The second article refers to the one-fifth degree change in Florida, two different geographic locations. Let's refer back to the email. The variations in declination vary widely across the globe, as does the rate of change. For example, in Alaska, the shift is one-third of a degree per year, whereas in Florida, the rate is lower probably about one-fifth, I would say, just as the article says. Again, there is no contradiction here. All you have to do is some basic research, and if you have questions, you know, a lot of these scientists are willing to talk about what they study. They enjoy it. I think that about wraps this up. Okay, well that's it for me. Yes, it is.